we're back at the dirty apron but aside from the cooking school there's a whole other side to it is what you're saying the whole shop and deli bistro hard to find things you were saying fine ingredients and yeah like the dirty apron spice line for the spices that the, that the students would um, use in the school and they wanted to take it home with them afterwards they get an opportunity to buy some of those if they don't have it at home so I'm just looking at some of them here. We've got chili flakes. Um, why is this kind of blurry, not coming out as well as I would like? Uh, juniper berry, lavender, mint, mustard seed, oregano. What's over here? Oh, that is so big. This is really, really big. Oh my God. Will that fit in my suitcase? I want that, really. I might have to come back for that before I leave. Okay, smoked paprika powder. That is not actually that common, is it? Yes, uh, it is very common. Is that yeah, common? We use, that? we use it a lot. Okay, and so what else do we have here? Uh, green apple green paste. Green apple paste, which is to die for and the price to boot, but it's an amazing product, especially with a, a pork product. Okay, Same green apple green mustard yeah, with prosciutto. Very much a specialty item. Um, and then we have some amazing yeah, olive oils. All different olive oils, some balsamics, including a 25 year, I believe we have one up here as well. Um, apple cider vinegar that you could basically drink, that's from France. Um, nice. Citron vinegars, uh, white balsamic vinegar that we like to use quite a bit. Um, a vincoto, vincoto um, which is the must of the wine that's been reduced down and then at, at a couple different temperatures and okay. uh, made into a syrup. A nice place to cut, will accompany very well with cheese. Oh, with cheese, okay, great, good to know. Um, sherry vinegar here, a couple of jams. This is the uh, uh, bourbon, uh, bourbon barrel infused maple syrup, which is almost oh. to die for. God, can you put a care package and ship it home for me? As well as, don't forget, the Canadian Heritage Organics 100% pure go. maple syrup. The other ones are the Canadian maple as well, too. Dried okay. mushrooms, um, pomegranate molasses, which makes a great bit of Oh, yummy. We got some cassis going on there. Oh. And then just some kitchen wares. Nice. This is awesome, actually. We got cuisine art. We got yeah. some funky, cool products, as well as. Okay, we got miso. Now we're moving into Thai. Japanese, right? Traditional soy sauce. God, this place is adorable. This is really great. This is so much fun. And the deli. What kind of stuff do you guys have at the deli? Sandwiches for yeah. the most part. And some that... marinated meats. If you're, if you're a busy person, you got some Avalon uh, milks. 375, man. That better be major organic. <laughs> That's even higher for us on the U.S. dollar, you know. Oh, we got some Yummy. heirloom tomatoes as well. What is that thing? That's massive. Yeah, heirloom tomato. Look at the size of that thing. That's freaking Oh my God, that's amazing. That's Look at that. delicious too. Tastes They're like all massive. They're huge. Okay. Some of our Dark chocolate. Made, yeah, Look at this. Made oh. chocolate. Oh. Hummus. Milk chocolate, lavender ganache. Oh my God! White chocolate pistachio. Are just, you kidding? I want to like ship asparagus, all of this. Dill pickles, house made. Pickled asparagus. Oh my God! I'm serious. I want to ship this stuff home. And then apple crumble, strawberry almond, dark chocolate, raspberry lemon curd. Okay, this is a place that everybody needs to know about, right? Okay. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, no this problem. is fun. All right.